what we want to talk about here is the hydraulic system. And what you're viewing is um, a PDC-4 size compressor base frame. Uh, it's a two-stage compressor in this case. And we, what we want to do is point out the hydraulic system and how generally it functions. Um, you know, on all the PDC-4s, your sight glass is right here. Oil level should be around three-quarters full while running. Uh, we come out into a magnetic plug, into a strainer. Uh, a, a drain valve is, is supplied. Then we, uh, we come up um, into our priming pump. Out of the priming pump, we go through some of the, some of the machines offer coolers, some do not. So we come through and back basically up into the filter. Come out of the filter and um, we're, we're going, uh, in this case, this, this relief valve is for our 150% uh, compressors. This is uh, for base lubrication instead of splash. We pressure lube. So we're coming through here into this port, and this port goes into the crankshaft and connecting rod areas and whatnot at about 60 PSI. The excess of this valve goes through into a check valve, which all the PDC machines have. Uh, this is set up at the 15 PSI cracking pressure, so this gauge then would be running in the area of 15 to 12 PSI once the oil gets warm. We, uh, from there, we come out into the suction side of the second pump, this white pump here. We come in, the, this is our injection pump. Now our injection pump, um, shown here, uh, is a, a two stage. So you have this side is suction of one stage, this is the suction of the other. This is an excess lubrication area. And we basically come out of our injector with a positive injection into and down through, up into a check valve. Out of the check valve, we go up into the head, we fill the head up, then we come out into our relief valve area. Our relief valve is basically governing the hydraulic pressure that this head assembly is going to see. So with this oil bypass valve open, we're, we're just naturally going to go up to this area. It, it can't go through because this is open. So we go through here and just back down through the side glass, back to the return into the crankshaft or crankcase shown, shown here. And all, all our circuits are established in that very same way. Um, back to this hydraulic upper section, we shut the, when we're, once we're done establishing an oil circuit, an oil flow, uh, we would then close this uh, bypass valve, forcing the, the, the oil up into this area and pressurizing the head. It'll relieve it whatever this relief valve is set at. And then uh, we come out of here on the other side of the uh, bypass valve, back again and reestablish oil flow through the sight glass and back to returns. Um, the oil lines here could get somewhat hot. Uh, they, they, they could get in, in, in around 180 degrees or so. Because uh, across the, in the, within this relief valve is a, a little ball and seat, and the oil jetting across that seat creates some heat. So uh, that's, that's it.